then I wanted to do a really casual, quick get ready with me using my Makeup Use Up products. So I'm going to put the products pictured up here because I'm going to be talking and doing my makeup and talking is about as much as I can handle without trying to remember to show you the products. It's more than I can do. So let's jump right in. I'm just going to get started with my Blistex. I absolutely love this stuff. It is manna from heaven for anybody but somebody who's not sleeping well and has Sjogren's, it's a real challenge. Um, the reason I'm not sleeping well is because of the Sjogren's. It lets you sleep when it thinks you should and that's not easy to do when you work full time. So that's been a lot of a challenge for me but I'm grateful that my job, all of this happened over Christmas when I was working at home and what a blessing that was, let me tell you, because I was able to figure out all the things that I've shown you in the videos of how I'm dealing with my Sjogren's. And if I had to work during that time when I couldn't speak and everything, it never would have happened. It was very difficult at times. So I've mastered it a lot. You might hear a difference in my voice and you probably see that I have a candy in the corner of my mouth and I might have to stop to get a drink once in a while. but. Hopefully that's about the most impact that you'll notice. Um, let's see, what's been going on other than the Sjogren's? I'm experimenting with diet with that, so we'll see, that's going to be longer term. I believe that it takes about three months at least to see impact from diet. So we will see if that works or not. Boy, this is such a pigmented palette. This is the Coastal Scents one that I've been using. Um, Boy, oh boy, I'm going to have to blend like crazy on this one. Let's see, what else? Work. Work is crazy. With my job, at the end of the year, we get all the year-end numbers, and then we have to set targets for the new year. So everybody wants everything yesterday. They want to know how we close the year. They want to understand what their targets are for the next year. So I would say that January and February are probably some of my craziest times with work. But that being said, I love my job and I'm super blessed with it. And I have a phenomenal boss. I can work from home because I do support all different countries. And so I have to work in their time zones. So that definitely means that, you know, working at home means I can juggle and balance more and it makes life much easier. We traveled a lot in December. And I was going to do vlogs. I actually had a whole vlog pieces, segments that I was filming and did not get up because of Sjogren's and life happening. It's hard to do things that you plan. Um, I'm finding I'm having to be a little more flexible than I realize or that I want to be. I'm quite a planning person and very structured. And to plan on doing things and then having Sjogren's get in the way is something that is a learning opportunity for me, shall we say. So I've been learning a lot and I just, all of the vlog stuff was to do with Christmas and there was just no way that I was going to get it up in time. So Mark has done a lot of our travels on his channel and I need to get him to consult me before he puts things up, let me tell you. There's a couple of pictures I'll insert here rather than bore you with my putting on foundation that he put up of us on his vlogs. Um, in particular, the one where I was having a really bad Sjogren's flare in uh, San Antonio on the Riverwalk. Oh man, you could tell in these clips in my eyes how bad it was. It was brutal and I would never have put those up and he put them up and I'm like, oh well, this is real life people, what can you say? So um, he's got a lot of our footage up there. He got some fabulous stuff we did at Christmas time um, with a train around Phoenix, which was a lot of fun. Uh, in San Diego, we went to the boat show. I'll link all of his videos below if you're interested. He has one on the amazing hummingbirds we have in the backyard and he hasn't edited it yet. He's been having computer problems and he's super busy at work. He doesn't have enough time. When he does it, it's on the rare weekend when we're home, which then means I don't get to spend time with him. So I'm like, honey, what are you doing? He's like, I'm editing for YouTube. And I'm like, ooh, 
I want to support him and help him, but I want to spend time with my husband, but he doesn't have time in the evenings like I do. So yeah, I try to be flexible, but the hummingbirds, oh my goodness. I know we have all of yours from all over the country here in Arizona, and we are so blessed. These little guys are hilarious and so territorial and so funny. We have gotten so much good footage. The guy you see in the front of my opening, I change my opening like every two months or so. That little guy, we've nicknamed him Elmer, and he guards a couple of feeders, and then we probably have 10 or 15 feeders in our backyard, and he guards a couple of them, and then Redhead Fred guards a couple other ones. And they do not like anybody else coming anywhere near their territory. And they are hysterical how territorial they are. We get just hours of enjoyment out of them. So hopefully he will get the video edited and up soon because those were some great footage. The one thing that I had that I really wanted to put up in my vlog, and I will put it up now in here, is... Uh, when I met with Stacy from Sunnyside Makeup, she used to have a YouTube channel. I'm sure a lot of you know her. She's just so cute, and I was so blessed. Our schedules with both of us working full-time are crazy, and we had such a wonderful visit sitting outside, and it was just gorgeous. We were really, really lucky living here in Arizona. So that was super nice to make time for her. I find that I've had to drop out of one book club because of Sjogren's. I just, the one book club that I dropped out of is farther away from me. It's out near my work. And I love the group of women. This was the one I told you about with the, they were so great saying drop in whenever. And they were just fabulous about it. But after going out to my work, working a full long day, having on my brain all the things that I need to do when I get home that night, and then having the energy to go to book club, I just, I couldn't do it. And I really am sad, but I also wanted to let the owner of that book club know so that she could free up the space and put somebody else in my slot if she wanted to. But it's just too bad because they are a great group of ladies, but I'm still trying to get together with my girlfriends. And you know, you just gotta, you can't do everything, and especially when you have an issue you're dealing with, you have to be respectful of the fact that you can't push your body as hard as you used to. And yes, I'm aware that that may be contributing to why this has happened. Definitely not 100%, but I'm a big believer in the tipping point that my body maybe could have handled Sjogren's and never flared up forever. But the more things you do, so my work stress, not sleeping well, not eating as well, you know, not exercising, all of those things, and I'm not going to be able to talk while I do this, <laughs> they contribute to the tipping point. And I believe that that's what's happened with me. So I am experimenting with things, exercise, sleep, my diet, vitamins, trying to get my body back where I want it. So we'll see if I'm able to make that happen. Now, I didn't use concealer because that Milani is so amazing, but I think I'm gonna just put a little bit in here. I take an old tube of Wet n Wild and I put some Tarte Tape Shape and some Dermacol, both of which I'm using up, into here and make my own little blend because that is easier, especially I carry this in my purse and it just works easier for me to have it where I apply it like that. Even found, uh, concealers that come in a tube, I frequently squirt them into an applicator like that. I just like it so much better being able to use the doe foot applicator and you can rinse it out, sanitize it, dry it out and then refill it with whatever you want. So it works for me. I'm trying to debate if I want to do Orange, I think this is orangey enough, this NYX blush that I'm trying to use up. It's very stiff, so it's going to last me a while. And somebody had the great idea to use it on my lips, which I've been really, really enjoying. I wanted to talk to you. I'm near the end. I think I've done a pretty good job of not dawdling too much. Um, I wanted to talk to you about Instagram. 
Kathy's Beauty Care Chats. I just love her so much. She has so much energy. She is just, I love her. She's gorgeous. Anyhow, I won't go on about her because I'm sure I'll be mentioning her in other videos. But she's gotten me where she's been telling me about Instagram. And I don't want to take on a social media that I don't have time for. And my schedule is so busy. But I've got over there and I've looked at it and it looks like fun. And I'm wondering what you guys would think if I was on there. It has, I think, 15 second Insta stories or something. So I could do those, you know, just two or three piece together and post them up. And I don't know if I'd be able to share more of our travels and keep in touch with you guys. Like Kathy mentioned to me, she says there's always things in your day because you guys are so much a part of our lives that during the day you're like oh i gotta tell people this and oh i think about this and then you forget <laughs> and when a video comes so you don't have enough to do a dedicated video for so i'm thinking of doing instagram but i'm nervous of making a commitment and i'm wondering if you guys would what you think of it if i should not do it if i should jump on there and you guys would have to be understanding that some weeks i may get one or two Insta stories up and then some weeks would be nothing and you'd have to still promise you love me because <laughs> I can't commit to doing something regularly especially when it's an addition to what I have I have the Facebook makeup page and those ladies know how much I love them and that is a top priority for me because they're just such an amazing group I get so many great ideas and inspiration from them and it holds you accountable to using up your makeup. It's just so great to be surrounded by like-minded individuals who are focused on using things up rather than bye, 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 and look at this new latest greatest thing in the haul. And it really helps, even though I feel like I have it under control, it's just refreshing to be surrounded by people who encourage and think the same way. I will never be a minimalist, but I just feel like I have too much and I don't like that. I want to get things down and I want to focus on living and living for me means exercising and reading and biking and, you know, walking and doing whatever, I, you know, spending time with my family. And those are things that I value and want to do versus shopping and worrying about the latest and greatest products. So I think I'm done here. I never remember till afterwards and then I always go, oh, I forgot to do something. And one of those things right now for me is powder. I have hit a really nice pan in this Physicians Formula, which I'm super happy about. Um, it looks like I have quite a bit of shine here, but I think a lot of it is the lights and the reflection. And then what I started doing, because this is gonna be the next powder that I use, is my Essence powder. I've started using just a touch of that in under the eye and then brushing it away and voila! I sometimes vary doing under the eye color and I didn't do it today. This is just super casual, super easy so that I have some makeup on and I thought I'd chat and share with you guys. I hope you're having a great day and I'd love to hear what's going on with you and please let me know your thoughts on the Insta story if I should join or not join or if it's something I need to be more regular at or if I can just do it when I feel like it. Thank you so much for watching. I always appreciate it and I hope you have a fabulous day. We'll talk to you next time.